partition because i j k are associated with x y z coordinates right so that is why this is called cartesian uh, coordinate uh, vector formalism right cartesian representation of vectors and uh, this representation is very useful because understanding the operations on vectors so this becomes very easy in this uh, formalism so let us understand different operation of vectors in this formalism so let us understand that okay so now we have uh, what is the first operation addition of vectors right so what would be yes. addition of vectors in cartesian form so let us understand that So th this is uh, very simple. You have two vectors, right? A, and this is represented by A x i hat, A y j hat, and uh, A z k hat. And then you have uh, another vector B, and this would be represented by B x i hat plus B y j hat, plus b z k so if we want to add these two vectors so we know that from fifth class from fifth or fourth standard only like terms are added right so what are the like terms this one and this one these two are the like terms these two are the like terms and these two separately are the like terms so only these like terms would be added with each other right so if we add uh, them to, so what uh, we will get? We will get uh, AX plus uh, BX I hat plus uh, AY plus uh, BY J hat and then uh, AZ plus uh, BZ K hat. So I and I term got added, uh, J and J term got added, and K and K term got added. So this is uh, how we add these two vectors. Let's see an example to understand this thing. So we have uh, so what do we have? Let's say we have a vector which is uh, 3i plus 4j plus 5k. And then we have uh, another vector, which is 2i minus 3j plus 4k. So then what would be the addition of these two vectors? What would be question is, what is a plus b? Right. So this would be very simple. Okay, why this is not scrolling down? Okay, so I have to scroll it from here. Yeah, so the answer is very simple that A plus B, that would be simply three plus two, 5i and then 4 minus 3 that is j and then 5 plus 4 that is 9k. So this is a plus b. Right. Now I will ask you a question and please tell me the answer of that question. So you have uh, three vectors. Right. So this is not scrolling down so I have to do it manually. Yeah. So you have uh, three vectors, right? A is uh, 2i plus 4j minus 3k. You have uh, B, which is uh, 3i plus 2j plus 5k. And then you have a C vector, which is, uh, let's say, 4i 
and plus 3j and minus uh, 5k. So then question is, question is uh, what is, what is the magnitude and uh, direction of uh, A plus B plus uh, C vector. What is that? So please find this. Uh, please tell me the answer. Solve this question for me and uh, tell me the answer. Yeah, so whenever you have calculated the magnitude and direction, please tell. Yes. What is the answer? Oh, if you still get uh, stuck, oh, still. Okay. Yeah, so. Yes, please take your time and uh, whenever you are stuck, uh, please tell me. Right? Then we'll uh, do it together. Okay. Mm, okay, so let's let's uh, find out, right? So first thing, what do we need to find out? A plus B plus C. This thing would be how much? What is uh, A plus B plus C that you found out? Is it 9i cap plus 9 theta? 
Yeah, so four to six and nine I, and then uh, four to nine, that is nine J, and then? Then uh, minus three K. So yes, you reach this answer. Then where did you get stuck? This is correct. So this is the uh, vector you have. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is the vector you have found out. Now we already know what is the magnitude of a vector. Whenever you have a ijk form, you directly put uh, this thing. So this thing you already know. Yes. Right. This is magnitude, not the vector. So this is uh, how much? Nine square. Root. Yeah. Root one seventy one. So okay, this much you also got right. Then uh, why didn't you tell me sooner? So oh, I was oh root one seventy one. Yeah. So if you are seeing root one seventy one, then root one seventy one. So this is the answer, right? Now you have found out the magnitude. So this is uh, the magnitude. Correct. That is absolutely correct. Now you have this vector. Let's say this is some uh, where, oh, this is not A. This is, uh, let's say another vector, we name it as D. Right? A plus B plus C is there some D vector and it, D magnitude is this. Now what would be the direction? D hat would be this D vector, which is this thing, yes, and then its magnitude. So this is 9i plus 9j minus 3k divided by root 171. So yes, 9 by root 171 i hat, 9 by root 171 j hat minus 3 by 171 km. So this is the direction, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so you got this thing already. You got this thing. So where did you get stuck? Well, I didn't get stuck. I was doing the direction. Oh, you were doing the following. The, okay, yes, yes. Yeah. So you were going in the right direction, right? You were calculating the right direction. Okay. So now, uh, now let us understand. So we understood that uh, what is the addition of vector in Cartesian form. So let us understand what is the subtraction of vector in Cartesian form, right? So what yes, is uh, subtraction of vectors? So this is also simple. This Cartesian form is the simplest form of the vector, right? So if we want to subtract two vectors, let's say we have A. This, this is the AXI. And then we have uh, P, which is uh, BXI. Then A minus B is uh, simply, let's call it uh, R, right? And this is uh, simply AX minus BX I hat, and then uh, AY minus BY J hat, and then uh, AZ minus BZ K hat. So this is uh, the subtraction of it. Right. So yes, I will I will give you a very simple question this time. So you have uh, an A vector which is uh, let's say three i plus four j minus two k, and then you have a B vector which is three i plus three j minus uh, or plus three k, and then you have C which is uh, let's say 5i minus 2j minus uh, 3k. And then you have to find out, find the magnitude and uh, direction 
of uh, a plus b minus c let's call it a d vector so find the magnitude and direction of this a plus b minus c please do this thing okay sir so everything is same only you have this minus c vector yes sir Yeah, whenever you get uh, the answer to this question. What's that? Yeah, whenever you get the answer, please tell. Uh, okay. Yeah, so did you get the answer? No, sir, not yet. So can you do this question? I think I made a mistake. So. Oh, good, good. Yeah. So good. Ah, uh, yeah. That is uh, that is how. Whenever you get stuck, please ask me. Right. Good. And uh, yeah. So remember what we need to find out. We need to find out a plus b minus c. So what would be that? So we have uh, a plus b minus c. So let's find out first a plus b. What would be that? a plus b is 3i, uh, right? Plus 2i, that is 5i. 
and then 4 plus 3, 7j. Yes, and then minus 2k plus 3k. So that is plus k. And then minus of uh, c vector. Right. c is uh, 5i minus 2j and minus 3k. Right. Yes. So what would be the thing? So this would be 5i plus 7j plus uh, k hat minus 5i min plus 2j and plus 3k. So 5i, 5i will cancel, right? We have 7j plus 2j, that is 9j hat, and k plus 3k, that is 4k hat. So this is your, this is your a plus b. Okay, now, uh, we have to find out the magnitude and direction. So, can you tell me what is the dimension of this vector? Can you tell me? The dimension is uh, we have to first find the magnitude. Yeah, we have to find the magnitude and direction of this uh, vector. I am asking what is the dimension of this vector? Dimension. Or the dimension as a yeah, what is the dimension? How many coordinates you see in this vector? Two. Two. So there is a, this vector is two dimensional, right? You have only y and z. X e component yes. is zero, right? We, there is no x component in here. So this vector is only in uh, y and z plane. So this is two dimensional, right? Okay. Sir. Okay, now we can easily find out uh, the magnitude of this vector. Let's say this is D, so root of AX is zero. So yeah, nine squared plus four squared, how much is that? So 81 nine. plus uh, 16, so 97. Good, so 97. And what is the, the direction? So this is vector, nine J hat, plus k hat divided by root 97. So this is 9 by root 97 i hat uh, j hat plus uh, 1 by root 97. That is, oh, why did I write 4? So 3 plus 1, 4, right? So this is 4k. So 4 by 97k. So this is uh, the touch. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, quickly note it down and then uh, we will understand. So now we have uh, so far only talked about universal unit vectors or Cartesian form. Let us understand uh, different operation, addition and subtraction in the other forms as well. So let's understand that. Yes. Whenever you have noted this thing down, please tell. Yes, sir, you, you can. Done. Okay, so now uh, let us understand uh, addition of vectors. Addition of vectors in a polar form. Right, so what would be the addition of vectors in polar form? So uh, we know that, right? How many attributes there are? How many attributes of a vector? So we have a vector, 
it has two attributes the magnitude and the direction right so this yes, and then you have another vector whose magnitude and direction you need right and then what do you know about, uh, so what is the other thing that you know? You know the angle between them. Angle between them. So that is uh, theta, right? Then uh, then you have to find out, uh, so what, what, what would be the things which would be given? So you would be given the angle between them you would be given the magnitude of uh, these two vectors. So what would be the known things? The known things would be, they are uh, magnitude of A, magnitude of B, and the angle between these two vectors. These are the known things. And uh, using these three, three things, you have to find out the addition of vectors. So there are uh, mainly two rules, right? There are two rules to find out. Both give uh, the same result. So one rule is called uh, the parallelogram law. And the other rule is uh, triangles law. From both the laws, uh, you will get uh, the same answer. You will get the same magnitude. Right. So you will be given the magnitude of A, B and the angle between them. And you have to find out uh, the resultant of the vectors. Right. So let us understand that. So the first thing that we will understand is parallelogram's law. So this is the, the thing that we will understand. Right. So let's say geometrical uh, representation. So how do we uh, understand this, right? And this is also called the working uh, principle. How does this work? So working principle of parallelogram. Right, this is uh, the parallelogram. So we have two vectors. Let's say this is A, and then uh, we have another vector, which is uh, B. And uh, the angle between them is theta, right? And what do you know? You know the magnitude of this thing, which is A. You know the magnitude of this thing, which is B. So magnitude, you know. And the angle between them, you know, right? So I will write these things in bracket so that uh, you understand that these are the known things, right? So you know B and you know A. Right. So how does this uh, parallelogram law work? And it is associated with uh, this name, parallelogram. Right. So what is this? Uh, what does uh, this uh, tell us? Right. So this, this, gives us, uh, this gives us a hint that we have to make a parallelogram. Right. So this is the idea that it is, uh, that it is giving you. Right, it is hinting towards an idea which would be using parallelogram. So this is the idea, and what do we, what do we do? So we extend this. So on the head of this vector, we draw a vector parallel to B. So this is uh, the B vector in here. Right, this is not looking parallel. So let me make. It a uh, parallel uh, vector. So this is something like uh, this. Thing. So this is uh, the parallel B vector. And then from here, you draw a parallel to this uh, vector, A vector. So this is A vector. Now, what is this geometry? What is this geometry? Let's say 
parallelogram, right? So this is A, B, or we should name it other thing because A, B we have used. So let's name it uh, P, Q, R, and uh, S, right? So yes, these, no. are, uh, these are these uh, are the things. And uh, we have uh, this PQRS. So PQRS is a parallelogram. Right. So, and uh, what does this parallelogram law states? That the resultant of this vector, right, resultant of this vector would be the diagonal PR. So this is the resultant of these two vectors. So let's name it, uh, let's name the resultant. Oh, so let's name it uh, the resultant as C. Usually the resultant are uh, represented as R. So I have to again name this thing, right? So I have to again change the name. So let's name it M, N, O, and uh, P. And then this resultant is R. So resultant, this is R, and this is your A plus B. So this is uh, how you add two vectors using the parallelogram law. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. And uh, then you have to find out. So what are the attributes of a vector? What are the attributes? What are uh, the attributes of a vector? Yes. IJK is uh, the Cartesian uh, coordinates, right? IJK is the Cartesian representation. What are the main property of the vectors? Yes. That is the first thing that we have understood about the vectors. What is the criterion of a vector? It's magnitude and direction, right? Oh, yes. So, which means that we have to ultimately find out the magnitude and we have to find out the direction. Right. So this is uh, the direction or we can find out the angle. And angle is represented by this thing. So let's say this is, uh, what is the color? So this is uh, the angle. Let's say this is alpha. This is alpha. And uh, to calculate uh, the magnitude, what we will do is uh, we will draw a perpendicular from here. And then we will connect this thing. So can you tell me what is this angle? Theta. theta absolutely correct. So this is theta. And what is this magnitude? This magnitude is B, right? This is B magnitude. So this is same as this one because that is a parallelogram. So MN would be equal to PO. So that is B, right? Now we have uh, this magnitude B and we want to find out uh, this uh, perpendicular and uh, this base. Right. So this is the hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse. I have to choose another color, right? This is not showing. So what is the color that I should pick? Oh, let me use uh, this color. Okay. So I have to hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is uh, B. Perpendicular, I have to find out. Right? And uh, yes. let's say name it as T. And then base I have to find out. Right? What do yes. I know? I know the angle. Right? 
So what will relate the hypotenuse and perpendicular? What will relate that? What will relate sine uh, hypotenuse and perpendicular? Sine theta, right? Yes, sir. So sine theta is uh, P by H, right? Yes, sir. So perpendicular, you don't know that you want to find out. H is B, right? So then what yes. would be this perpendicular? This would be B sine theta. It is, is it clear? Yes, sir. So this is B sine theta. And uh, then we have uh, this base. I want to relate this base and hypotenuse. How can I do that? What will relate this base and hypotenuse? Cos. Cos. Absolutely correct. So cos theta is uh, base by hypotenuse. So base I want to calculate hypotenuse is B. So then this B would be how much? B cos theta. So this thing PT is B cos theta. Right? Yes, sir. Then what is uh, the right angle triangle that I can find out? What is the right angle triangle that I can find out? So the right angle triangle is uh, this one. What is uh, what, image, what color should I choose? So let's uh, yeah, this one. This is uh, the right angle triangle. Right. And if I draw this thing, if I draw this thing in here, so what would be that? Let's draw that uh, thing. So that is, this is R. And how much this thing, can you tell me? How much uh, that thing? Well, how much is MT? How much is MT? So... MT is MA plus, uh, not uh, MP plus PT, right? MT is MP plus PT, right? Yes, sir. That is A plus B cos theta. So A plus B cos theta. And this uh, thing, what is this thing? Can you tell me what is this thing? OT? OT. Yeah, what was uh, OT? OT is B sine theta, right? So this is your OT, which is B sine theta. So this is uh, the triangle, right? Yes. And uh, can you tell me what are these uh, things A and B and uh, theta? From uh, the starting point, right? From the starting point, uh, we know that this is a thing, these are the things, right? So from, uh, from the beginning, we know that A and B and theta, these three are known quantities, right? Yes. So these things are already known. A, B and theta, they are already known. Using these known quantities, we have to find out this resultant. And you see that this is hypotenuse, so resultant would be simply root of perpendicular square plus base square. That is how much? B sine theta whole square plus A plus B cos theta whole square. So how much would be this thing? So this is uh, B square sine square theta plus uh, A square plus uh, 2AB cos theta and plus uh, b square cos square theta. So we see that b square, b square common. So this would be, let's write a square in uh, the left hand side and this is b square sine square theta plus cos square theta. And then let's write this thing uh, separately, 2ab cos theta. 
So this thing is one. So what we will have? A square plus B square plus two AB cos theta. So this is your resultant. This is uh, the magnitude of two vectors. Okay. Right. Now we have to find out the direction. So we have this triangle. This angle is alpha. So simply tan alpha would be how much? That would be the direction. Tan alpha, that would be perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is B sine theta. And uh, base is A plus B cos theta. So this is uh, the direction. Is it uh, clear? Yes, sir. So this is how you calculate magnitude and direction using two vectors, right? So please note down from uh, here. And then uh, we will uh, understand uh, this, uh, this thing, this concept using uh, questions. So we will do some problems and then this thing would be clear. Please uh, note it down. Okay, sir. Scroll down. Yeah. Okay, so this was uh, theta, right? Yes. And this angle is. Yes, sir. Done. Okay, then please uh, note down this part. Thank you,
Okay, so now uh, let us do a question and then uh, this would be more clear, right? So you are given, uh, you are given, so the magnitude of magnitude of uh, two vectors are uh, three and uh, four respectively and uh, the angle between them is uh, 45 not 45 let's write it uh, and the angle between them is 60 degree find uh, the magnitude or find the resultant of the vector find the magnitude of uh, the resultant of the vector so you see that in the in this question you are not you are not given the ijk uh, formalism you are not given the cartesian representation right yes sir so only the known things which we have discussed so far only the known things are magnitudes of individual vectors and angle between them so then we can directly apply right then we can directly apply the resultant of uh, the vector. So magnitude is how much? That is simply a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. So we have uh, a square which is 3 square plus 4 square and uh, plus 2 and uh, 3 into 4 into cos of 60. So cos of 60 is uh, how much? That is 9, 16, 2, 3, 4, and uh, 1 by 2. So this will cancel, and this is uh, 25 plus 12. So this is uh, root 37. So this is uh, the yes. magnitude. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so quickly note down this problem and then we'll understand uh, some important things of the resultant of two vectors. Okay.
Yes. Then, yeah. okay. So now, uh, uh, let us understand uh, three conditions of uh, important uh, conditions of uh, resultant of variables, right? So special cases of uh, resultant of uh, vectors. So what are uh, the three special cases? We know that, we know that magnitude is uh, a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab cos theta. Now uh, what you want is uh, to calculate, let's say I give you two uh, magnitude, let's say this is a and uh, b, right? So these two vectors are uh, given and uh, I say that what would be the maximum, right? So case first, the case first is the maximum of two vectors. Maximum resultant. Right. And uh, when will that be possible? So we know that this thing is maximum, right? This cos theta, so that uh, corresponds to cos theta maximum. And can you tell me what is uh, the maximum value of cos theta? What is that? Yeah, so after this class, there would be a class assessment, right? So please take that. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, what is the maximum value of cos theta? Maximum value of cos theta. Hmm. Do you know the graph of cos theta? Do you remember? This when you learned about uh, waves, oscillation, then you have come across this thing, right? So, what was the maximum value? Let's say if this is the cos theta graph. So, what was uh, this maximum value? Um, I'm not so, sure. Yeah, so this is the maximum value, right? Yes, sir. And this was one. So at zero, cos zero is one, cos uh, this is uh, 360, right? So 360 is one, right? And uh, similar, similarly other angles. And uh, this is, uh, what is this value? Can you tell me? What, sir? That's one. What, is, what are these values? Is it minus one? Minus one, so these are minimum, right? So these it's are minimum one. values. These are minimum values, the, this one is maximum. And this one is also maximum, right? So maximum value is one. And that is plus one, so this is one. So we want to calculate maximum resultant, so this thing would be maximum, right? Because A and B are fixed. This is fixed from the beginning. Only angle is uh, changing. So then let's say, right, so this thing is R max and this is uh, A square plus uh, B square plus 2AB and cos theta is 1, right? So cos theta is uh, cos maximum. So that is, uh, let me write it as theta max. So then this is A square plus b square plus 2ab. And this is what identity? a square plus b square plus 2ab. a plus b whole square. 
right? And then you have root. So this is square, this root will cancel and you will have A plus B. So whenever they say that calculate the maximum resultant, so that is simply A plus B. And then second case. So second case is a minimum. And uh, this thing would be minimum if cos theta is uh, minimum. And what is the value? We have already discussed. So this is minus one, right? Yes. Sir. So if we put this uh, value, so R minimum, that is uh, A square plus B square and uh, then cos two AB. So let me write it as 2AB and cos theta minimum. So we have uh, A square plus B square plus 2AB and uh, minus one. So this thing would be how much? This would be A square B square minus 2AB. And again, this is an identity. So this is A minus B whole square and then root. So square and root will cancel and you will have A minus B. So this is R minimum. And then the third case is that uh, the vectors are perpendicular. So perpendicular vectors. So if vectors are perpendicular, what is uh, theta? Theta is 90 degree, which corresponds to cos uh, 90, which is 0. Right. So then what would be resultant? This resultant would be simply A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. This theta is 90, so cos 90 is 0. So you have... Uh, cos 90. So this part is 0, this part is cancelled out and resultant is simply root of a square plus b square. So these are the special cases. Is it uh, clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay, so then let quickly note it down and then we'll talk about yeah, so then we'll talk about uh, some questions depending on these uh, things. Note it down. Please note it down. You can scroll
Yeah, whenever you have noted it down, please tell me. Yes. Done. Done. Okay, so then, uh, then you would be given uh, two vectors, right? So let's say if I give you. So the magnitude. of uh, two vectors are uh, four and uh, five, find out the maximum, minimum, and uh, the magnitude of uh, the resultant at uh, 90 degree, right? So these three things we have to find out. So simply what we can do that, uh, we know that R max, right? This is simply five minus four, which is one. And then R minimum, that is uh, 5 oh so this would be 5 plus 4 because that was a plus b right so yes. this is 5 plus 4 that is 9 what is minimum that is 5 minus 4 that is 1 and at 90 degree this is uh, 5 square plus 4 square so how much is that 25 plus 16 so this is 41. So this, uh, these are uh, the three uh, solutions. This one is uh, very simple. So quickly note it down and then we'll stop and you just take uh, the, right. Uh, whenever I leave, you just take that uh, class assessment, right? Yes, sir. So how do you have to take uh, that uh, test? Uh, you have to log into your learning account. So you have your learning account, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you have to lo log into your learning account and then uh, you have to check that uh, there would be a section which is active test or class assessment, something like that. And then you click on that uh, section and then you will find some active test. So then you have to take uh, that test, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, but first uh, note this thing down. Okay. Done. Done. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we will stop uh, here.